I recently turned 40. Let me tell you something about turning 40. When you turn 40, you will hear this in your life and hopefully the rest of your life. You look good for 40. You look good for 52. You look good for 63. You never hear that when you're young. You never hear, eh, you look good for 19. If you hear you look good for 19, guess what? You look like shit for 19. Shouldn't hear it. I definitely embrace that I'm 40. I accept that I'm 40. I know this. It's over. It's over. No more medium t-shirts for this guy. No. Those days are long gone. Saturday rolls around, a buddy calls you up. Hey, we getting drunk tonight? Uh, we're not. You can. What are you doing? Well, there's a two-hour date line is what I'm gonna do. I gotta solve a murder with Lester Holt. That's what's my Saturday. I don't wanna come off as grim or negative, but once I turn 40, I accept death a little more. Because you know when you're 20, you're 30, you want to backpack Europe, you want to skydive, you want to experience life. Once I turn 40, I'm like, anytime now, honestly. I am tired all day. I am exhausted. I daydream about lying down under things. I'm like, right there at that table, I could lie down under that table. I'd be very comfortable. This is what I truly mean, though. If I go to a gas station, I swipe my card at the pump, and then it says, please come inside, see a tenant, I'd rather die than go inside and see that attendant. I'd rather get in my car and drive three miles to another gas station than walk 10 yards in your piece of crap place of business because you can't fix the pump. I'll take death. It definitely took me 40 years to realize where I stand politically. I think some people know right out of the gate. Some folks are influenced by their parents. I me, mean, it took me 40 years. You know, somebody's now, like, nowadays somebody's like, hey, what's your, uh, what's your take on the death penalty? How do you feel about the presence of the United States in the Middle East? What's your stance on abortion? Here's my take on all those and more. I don't give a shit. None of those things apply to my daily life. I don't know anybody on death row. The Middle East been fighting for thousands of years. We're not gonna change that. And thank God my daughter's not old enough to fuck. So I just don't care about any of those things, truly. Here's the pressing issues in my life. My back's going, my vision's going. My wife doesn't think I give her enough back massages. I've been putting off an oil change for two months. Is my engine gonna blow today? I don't know, I'll roll the dice again. My daughter's three years old and she won't stop spreading her legs in public. These are the issues that keep me up at night, guys. I don't give a shit. I recently turned 40. I don't give a shit. I daydream about lying down under things. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. I recently turned 40.